Our nation's public lands are undoubtedly one of America's greatest treasures. These are places where we can be active, spend time with family, explore the wilderness, or connect with our cultural heritage. More than 50 years ago, Congress created the Land and Water Conservation Fund as a promise to safeguard these places. Since then, LWCF has funded tens of thousands of parks and projects throughout the country. But the fund is set to expire this September unless Congress agrees to reauthorize it. Whether it's developing a community pool, creating green space in the desert, or strengthening our national parks, LWCF is one of the most critical tools for creating access to the outdoors, especially for diverse and urban communities, and protecting the places we love. We need our leaders in Washington to continue this tradition, this guarantee of access equity, this promise of land, water, and comunidad. For many immigrant families, it's hard sometimes to feel like you belong. Because we come from a different culture and we speak a different language, sometimes finding that connection takes years, if not generations. And for me, the outdoors has given me that connection. Growing up, I did come here to build Axe Cape Florida State Park, and parks filled up the bulk of my childhood. Every afternoon, my parents would take me and my siblings out to the park to explore, to play soccer, to swim if there was a place to swim. And that made my childhood feel very rich because we didn't have much, but we did have our local parks. Bill Bags is one of a kind. There's no other ecosystem really in the world like this. So I think it's important to show the next generation the resources that we have in our community and why they're important to protect because it's such a diverse ecosystem. We do see direct influences in the way that we live in terms of water supply right, and in terms of flooding. And so protecting our parks really means protecting the community. Parks like Bill Bags means that future generations can come out here and do the same outdoor recreation activities that their parents did back in their home countries, which sometimes living in an urban area, you don't get the same opportunities as you would coming out here. And so when I come here, it's a place to disconnect. It's a place to maybe leave my phone behind and just enjoy the natural landscape. Being out here feels relaxing. Feeling the breeze, hearing the birds. When you take that first breath, feel that I belong here. Hunting to me is a great to spend time with family. My uncle taught me how to hunt. He taught me everything I should know about hunting and my experience here. He taught me like how to look for deer, how to know where to find them, where do they hide, even especially what they eat and what they do. It's not about like the deer, it's not about the meat, it's actually about just like, you know, enjoying your family and friends and having like community together. This place isn't just a park. It's family, it's memories, lessons learned. I can't imagine not having access to this place. Everything in the Eden paradise was nature. The man 
we have a special connection with nature. We don't have many space in Vegas. Vegas is in the middle of the desert, and we don't have a lot of green space. And this area in particular is very special, it's so green. And the community need more space for barbecues, for playing, relax, for many things. We need a to move in the new generations, the interaction with the open space, with the many things in the nature. We have a spiritual connection with the nature because God created everything. Trees, soil, clouds, mountains, we need for the church. Because this is maybe like one oasis in the middle in the desert. This is spectacular because it's green, trees, grass. It's a spectacular place. Growing up, all we had was going outside and play. Nowadays, it's video games, Snapchat, Facebook. And how are they doing these things sitting down? I think it's very important that they're very active. The community here is very close. There's only one high school, one middle school, so they all grow up together and everybody takes care of each other. This pool is important to me and my daughter because they can be active. They can be themselves. And since they're having fun too, they don't have to worry about who's got the best outfit, who's got the best makeup, hairdo. This is a safe, healthy environment for kids and teenagers and even parents. I feel that places like these is very important to the community because it's a low cost for all these other people that can't afford going to the more expensive places like the caverns or the hot springs. And being 12, there's not a lot of places she can go by herself. And yet here, they're here all day. And then this is where she can take out all of her energy. <laughs> I want them to be happy. That's my main goal. Apodaca Park is an important part of Las Cruces. It's a park that the community has identified with since 1953. People continue to come to this park. It's become generational. My friends bring their kids, you know, my friends' parents brought them here. It's just part of the heritage now. Having access to places like Apodaca Park is important to the Latino community because it provides um, a free space where people can gather. A lot of Latinos do not have the resources to go out to national parks. Uh, this is where people have their children's birthday parties, where they have family gatherings, quinceañeras. It's just the gathering point. The Land and Water Conservation Fund provides funding at the national level, state level, and local level 
but the people that benefit from it the most is a lot of communities like Las Cruces because it really does provide that funding for people to be able to get access to natural spaces like Apodaca Park, which is important because it protects people's identity and people's history, which is ultimately our shared story.